okay, wasn't sure what to work on today, so I thought I would try an integral. And in this case, we have one from MIT Integration B 2019, problem number 10. We have the integral from zero to one of square root of x over one plus x dx. Okay, for this one, I actually have two methods I wanna try on it. The first one is gonna be the more straightforward. The second one's a little different or more can... For my first method, I wanna do the straightforward thing and just do a u substitution. Later on, the second method is a little less conventional. Substitute u for square root of x. I think I'll solve for x and do it that way. You could just take a derivative on the u too. It's not really gonna matter very much. So isolating our x, now we'll take a derivative dx is gonna be just 2u du. We'll go ahead and substitute. First, plugging in one, square root of one is one. Plug in zero, we're still at zero. Transform all this stuff for square root of x, that's gonna be a u. Then our x value is u squared, so we have one plus u squared dx is something, dx is gonna be this, 2u du. Well, let's take this two and bring it out front as a constant. So we'll just have a two here. And let's combine this u with this one and get a u squared in the numerator. And then in order to clean this up, what if I, if I add a one on it, then we're matching this. So we've got something easy, but if I, I don't wanna change it, so let's subtract a one. But then with this minus one, let's take this to create a second integral. And one thing you have to ask yourself is why is the du so far from the rest of the integral? There's all this, there's all this space I'm wasting. So let's get this du closer and then split this off into a second integral. Okay, now just distributing the minus one to the two in front, we get this minus two over here. But now we're gonna have two easy integrals. This is gonna cancel with this, so we're just integrating one. This here is just gonna be our arctan integral, so let's do this really quick. We have two u. I'm gonna put them back together again, so we're gonna have minus two. This is gonna be just arctan of u. Then evaluating everything all together, we'll just evaluate from zero to one. Then let's notice, evaluating at zero, everything's gonna be zero. Arctan at zero is zero. Don't worry about that one. Plug in a one. Here we're gonna have just two minus two. Arctan at one is gonna be just pi over four. Do a little simplification. Two minus, distribute the two to the pi over four, and we get two minus pi over two, and that's gonna be my solution for the first method. Okay, now moving on to method number two. What we're gonna do is we're gonna use this formula that I derived, I think I've derived it twice in previous videos. Although one time I derived it was part of another problem. But anyway, we have something set up just like our integral here, where we've got the one plus x, we've got the bounds right. We just need to deal with, we've got the a and the exponent. But this right here, square root of x, we can look at this as x to the one half or x to the three halves minus one. So doing it this way, the a value in our problem is gonna be just three halves. And what we have over here to the right for our solution is gonna be in terms of the digamma function. I derived this again, but this is actually a pretty long process. I think the video where I actually derived this was like 13 minutes or something. Just for a definition on the digamma function, if you have the digamma of z, this is gonna be the same thing as the derivative of the natural log of the gamma function at z. So. So the digamma function is tied to the gamma function through the derivative of the natural log. So let's see how we can go about trying to calculate this. We wanna see if we can get this into like a numeric value and ideally we'd like it to look like our solution from the first method. So first we plug in three halves here. When you do that, you get five halves over two. This is gonna become digamma of five over four minus the second part, you plug three halves in here, you just get digamma of three fourths and this is all over two. Now what I wanna to do to simplify it further, let's focus on this first piece. We have a formula that we can use for the digamma function of, I should do this as z plus one. So for digamma of z plus one, you may recognize the gamma function as an extension of the factorial. We've got a similar formula for the digamma function that allows me to reduce this by one to go from digamma of z plus one to digamma of z plus one over z. So just using this on digamma of five over four, if we reduce this by one, go from here to here, we end up with digamma one over four, take the reciprocal and we get a plus four. So let me plug this back in here, but I'm gonna kind of go out of order. So plugging, we're gonna have digamma one over four. Let's move this piece next to it. So we'll have digamma three over four, and then we still have this plus four on the end. But then from here, what we can do is simplify, we have a way to simplify this right here because 
you'll notice that the inputs on these add up to one, one fourth plus three fourths. So what that's gonna do is allow me to use the reflection formula on this. So putting to use our formula right here, our Z value on this is gonna be the three fourths. So we're looking at di gamma one fourth minus di gamma of three fourths, just because one minus three fourths gets us this one fourth value. Then we have pi cotangent pi, here's our Z, so this is gonna be pi times three over four or three pi over four. But at three pi over four, cotangent has the same value as tangent, it's just gonna be minus one. So this thing is actually just gonna reduce down to minus pi. So take that and we'll plug it back in here. I'll reorder it again. This second write is four minus pi over two. Simplify it, divide the two in. For my final solution to this, we just get two minus pi over two, and that's gonna match what we got with method one. Okay, there you go. Good one today from MIT 2019. Thanks everyone for watching. Have a good day.